Alright farmers, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be having a look at mineral feed and what does it actually do. So I did a previous video on this and we had a look at how much of the effect it has on the capacity which was nothing. But then thinking about it again, obviously you are just putting raw products into the mixer. So the mineral feed should really have an effect on the output from the cows. So this is what we've got set up today. So if we go into the construction menu, I'll show you with a little bit of a flyover what we've got. So we've got one cow barn over here, and I've renamed this No Mineral Feed. And obviously we're going to put the cows in. We've already put the straw in. We're going to put the TMR with No Mineral Feed in that one. And then we're going to get the manure out. Then over here, because obviously I spaced them out, because I want to make sure that they get the good reading on all the ratios coming out we've got a pasture so no mineral feed in that one we're going to have mineral feed in that one and then we also we've got another barn here that we're going to have mineral feed in that one with its manure pile so i've spaced the barns out because i didn't want a bit of cross contamination with the manure pile and obviously the pastures can go together because you don't get manure off of that anyway so that's what we got set up. So I'm going to go and put some cows in all of them. I'm going to use all the same breed of cow. So we're not going to be getting any different situations because of the breed. Although to be fair, from the best cows video, unless you're doing dairy or beef cows, they're pretty much the same anyway. So I'm going to put Holsteins in all those. So I'll see you back here in a minute. Right, so I've got my cows in. So the top one is the no mineral feed in the barn. Then, for some reason, the pens are in the middle. Again, mineral feed, no mineral feed. And then we've got the one with mineral feed barn at the bottom. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up all the tractors that we've got set off. And then you'll see there on this one, this is the no mineral feed going in. So we've got a 24,000 litre mixer. So that's all going to go in there. Now, I've worked out a ratio that for the non-mineral feed mix on a price perspective is 7674 to fill this trailer up now for a one with mineral feed that's going to cost us 8313 8, to fill it up so that works out at 32 or 0.32 per liter for no mineral feed and 0.35 per liter for the mineral feed mix so that's what we're dealing with. So I'm going to get all these filled up. So I'll see you back here in a bit. All right, so I've got all the food in. So we have got in the pens, we've got 11,250 litres of TMR, obviously 6,000 litres of water. And in the barns, we've got the full 24,000 litres of TMR and then 38,000 litres of straw. So what we're going to do, we're going to fast forward three months and we'll see what we get on the output we'll see how much slurry and milk we get and manure at the barns and obviously we'll see how much milk we get out of the pens now i've gone for the 18 month old because we want to see on the reproduction rate as well is that affected by using the mineral feed or not so i'm going to fast forward three months and i'll see you back here in a bit right so i'm at the three month mark what are we looking at so if we go into this menu here so We've got the no mineral feed barn and then we've got the mineral feed barn. So we've produced 4,218 litres of milk, which is the same on both of them. And then for the total mixed ration that we use, so we've got 13,500 left, same on both of them. Straw, 34,149. That's 35,000, although there was 1,000 litres extra of straw in the mineral feed barn. So that's the same. Slurry 7,500 on both, and then the manure pile is exactly the same on both with 5,999 litres in that. Now, where the pen's concerned, we've got the same situation again water 3,600, 3,600 on both, milk 4,218, 4,218, and then the amount of food that we've used is exactly the same. Now, even the reproduction rate, there's still 30% on all of them, and health is at 100% on all of them as well so this really is shaping up to be one of those things that doesn't seem to do anything I mean what what's the actual point 
What I'll do, I'm going to fast forward it now to the 12 month mark. Because I may need to refill. Certainly the pens are going to need to refill the TMR in. And then we'll see what we're at come a year. Right, so we've got a year under our belts. What we're looking at. So if we go into the animal menu, you'll see there that the no mineral feed and then the mineral feed on the barns are exactly the same. So we've got milk, 16,218 litres. Exactly the same in both barns. Straw, 26,394 in the no mineral feed. And then 27,394 in the mineral feed. So it uses slightly less. I mean, even accounting for the thousand extra that the mineral feed had in. So I say 26,394. It's exactly the same. Slurry, 28,093. Exactly the same for the slurry on both barns. Now, where we come with the pens, add a bit of a mistake with that one and um, they run out of food so that's why they haven't reproduced any offspring yet and also the milk production has maxed out for the pen which is why their productivity is now at zero but going through it everything whether it's the pen or whether it's the barn was exactly the same until i made my boo-boo but we'll gloss over that bit so mineral feed it's i mean we'll we'll have a little run down the check on the manure it's one of those things it's it's in the game but for me on this one i mean maybe it's because i haven't got seasons on that may might make a difference but if you're not playing with seasons it makes zero effects on it at all so 22,312 that's with the mineral feed barn so we'll have a little run up to the last one but as i say it, it seems to be something in the game that doesn't do anything i mean it adds into the realism don't get me wrong you want to go down that route of giving the best to your cows then yeah by all means go for it but as an added expense is it really worth it no it's not i mean we've put two loads in these barns for a year so that's forty-eight thousand uh, tmr and they are twenty-two thousand three hundred twelve. It's exactly the same in the manure so it's two pallets of mineral feed for the mineral feed barn so that's two grand extra you're paying to get the exact same output so if you're on a tight budget you know that's money you don't want to be spending really so yeah that's really strange well there you have it mineral feed doesn't do anything i mean drop it in the comments below if you've had different results with it let me know but i've had zero difference between what we're using on this map today if you haven't already hit the subscribe button it's much appreciated but for me that's it for today and i'll see you in the next one